Hey, what's up guys? It is Astrid Spaceboy here, and welcome back to another video. Uh, we are going to be continuing uh, the uh, Sable uh, game. And, uh, yeah. Let's, uh, let's continue on. Ugh. Oh, uh, how do I keep doing that with the camera? Ooh, cutscene, okay. Guess I'm uh, walking past everything. Post box logging in. Hello, Sable. Jetty's voice echoes strangely through the machine, yet still it warms me. Well, Sable, this is it. By the time you hear this, we have gone. The gliding is a journey that must begin alone. There is a certain nuance lost in transmission, and for that I am grateful. It would be far too much to hear the cracks in her voice, and not run- no, we- Wibbly, wibbly, weebly, weebly, into our arms to stay forever. But I'm ready, and so I close my eyes and listen. Uh, but though you go by yourself, you are not without friends. You are not without family. You are not without love. These things you will always carry with you as you do your, as you do your mask. And I know I'm not supposed to do this, but if I were you, I might go see Utari. They're a mechanist at Burnt Oak Station, and among Sizzo's closest, closest friends. Utari's a good contact to have on one's gliding, and a fine way to get another uh, mechanist badge if you're so inclined. Only a suggestion, though. As for us, I'll send another message once we've returned to the Ewer. So, so keep an eye on the post boxes and try not to forget us. She takes a long breath, and I forget that things. She takes a long breath, and I forget that things as easy as breathing could ever exist. The world is waiting, Sable. Good luck. Hell yeah, this thing's cool. Absolutely, I'm gonna fly through this. I wanna see if there's, you know... Love exploring, gotta explore, gotta see if there's anything, you know, behind these rocks or something. Doesn't seem like it, okay. Ooh, alright, another cutscene, I guess. Oh, I can I can still control myself as I do this. Cool. There we go. Cool. 
cool. Anyways, I'm returning because I wanted to see if there's you know, stuff, like money and stuff hidden about. I don't think there's any money hidden there, so I can go. Something. Nope. Oh. Yeah, climb on it. That's about it. Bird. Oh. Ah. I didn't mean to. Okay, it's whatever. up there and explore a bit. Like, let's... Well, I should probably take my bike through this, at, at the very least. Then don't, don't look too small of a crevice. Shadow, that's cool. I do love how this I do I do like this game how it looks. Why does it have such bad reviews? This is a good game so far. Guess I don't risk falling off. Let's see if there's some over here. Uh, not by the looks of it. So I'll just run up it. 
Let's see. Let's see. Bird. Ooh. There's something here. Howdy doody. Big old rock man thingy. Looks like an Adventure Time character. Fire does not hurt me. Hmm. Ugh. First person view thingy. This is. Ha! Mummy. I probably could climb back up there, but let's see what's over here. Oh, okay, just a way up. Is there anything over there? It just looks like cactuses. Don't think so. Anyway. I know I'm at least going somewhere, finding something. I think this is a game that might not have like a specific direction for people to go in. It, it seems like it's just a game that's like, eh, just, just go about it as you please type game. You know, no specific direction, just, just go out as you wish. Explore, gather, whatever, get whatever you can find. anything over here. Nope, doesn't seem like it. Jeez. Seems like a huge game just by looking out of it. This is a nice bird. Just a huge game. The wind tower. Just going down here to check. Nope, don't see nothing. Ooh, what's down here? Immediately I go subterranean. <laughs> Aha! This is why it's here. This is why. You explore in games, because you'll just find, you'll just find everything. Yeah, and I went down there to there, so there's nothing there. Got it. Okay, there's a button to push to open that. Might be up there. No, it's a rock. I just saw something flying by. Interesting. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Funny. Anyway. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna hop down here, though. I want to see what's out here. Ah! So I was supposed to hop out there. Cool. Ah. 
Doesn't seem to be. Oh wait, no, there's a window right here. Never mind. Ugh. Hold on. I wanna explore a bit out here, see if there's something. Yeah, I can make that jump. Uh, continue to uh, climbing. Birds. Oh, Cool. Yo, let's see what's going on here. Funky. Open that. Nice. Cool. Uh, let's just um, let's toss it. T toss it down there. Yeah. No, no, no. Got it. Nope. It's whatever. Ooh, a mechanist mechanist's top. I'll stay here for more mechanist in hidden. In midden. Machinus will always make sure each set has its own unique modification for their own particular needs. Nice. Let's immediately see how that looks. Let's put it on, huh? There we go, huh? Looking nice, looking lovely.
What is that sound? Bouldering top. Though they won't help me climb further, the hand wraps and lightweight fit of the skier are great for making scaling mountain heights more comfortable. So it's something that won't help me climb better? Let's see. Let's see. I, want, I, I, I just want to see. Does it not? that. Let's just put this on. Yeah, no, okay. Let's just do this for now, though. I like this, because you get a cape. Capes are cool. I know Edna said no capes, but come on. Who wouldn't wear a cape? So what is this? Ah! Did you friend? Thank you. Close, thought I fell. I think that's it, actually, for being up here. Check out. What should I check out next? Let's just continue on over here, huh? Why not? Where's that? Whee! Well, this is a bunch of cactuses. onward through the cactuses till I find something unless I don't find anything so that's all right if I don't find nothing over here as well I'll have been happy to have uh, explored over here nothing Here. Mm. 
Spooky. It's spooky over here. That's what's over here. This is a huge game. Oh, those are some rocks. Okay. I was like, what is that? What is that? I had a Grunkle stand moment. What is that? A woodpecker? Just gonna fly around this, see if there's anything here. Doesn't seem like it, so. Look at all that, huh? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go over there and check that out. Just wanna check this stuff out first, see if there's anything over here first, you know? It's ominous music. But it's cool. It's a cool ominous. There's a lot of something over there. And there's something right there as well. Let's check this out, huh? That's what this is. around it at all? Doesn't seem like it, no. Let's see if I can climb this. Ah, oh, no, I might, I might not be able to climb it. Nope. Ah, oh, so close, though. Try one more time. I don't think I got oh, got on on. There we go. Let's see if I can climb it now. Don't think so. Yeah, no, nope. right on the edge of it. So then, nope, can't climb that. Oh, there's some ring ring thingies. Going from over here, let's go through them. Every time I go through one of those, my controller vibrates more and more and more intensely. Ah, okay. What? Oh. Cool. I'll go over and check that out, then. I want to check that out, but... I don't know, doing this first, I guess. like birds. What? An ancient race.
Let's go here and see what's going on over here, huh? Geyser Tower. Someone in here. Before I go to them, let me, uh, mummy. How's he goes he? Before I greet them, the hunter is making some breathy noises. Loud exhales through near pursed lips and small, effortful oofs. They run their hand along the back of their skull and stare upward and away for short moments before turning back my direction with a shake of their head. It isn't how I'm used to seeing hunters whom I have come to associate with perfect calm. Glider! I could tell they are trying to infuse some calm into their voice, but it doesn't work. Can you help me? My name's Zebby. I've been I've been out here for a while now and my partner oh, Dilhan Dilhan traveling partner, I should say, uh, got it in his head to climb up there after some birds eggs. That's rather high. I don't think I don't think I sound afraid when I remember how high up it is, but Zebby must think I'm Commiserating. I know, it's... I don't use this word often, and I don't like to, but it... But it's... It's preposterous, is what it is. You don't like to say preposterous? I'm a hunter. If your success was measured on the length, height, and majesty of your quarry... We'd hate hyperbole too. Hyperbole. Uh, but this situation calls for it. I tell them I see, but I don't really. Zebby huffs. I'm not happy to admit this, but I'm not too fond of heights. Some would say I'm a little afraid of them, or a lot. If you if you could get up there and grab Dilhan for me and tell him I'm going to kill him when he gets down here, that would be really helpful. I tell Zebby that I'm happy to do most of that and take on the task. I say goodbye to Zebby. Cool. Ugh, didn't need to climb that. friend. Howdy doody. Thank you. Oh, 
Oh, that's a wall. It's like, what, what am I looking at? Bunch of that, huh? Hmm. I don't think so. Oh, wait. Nope. Just barely. Ah, <sighs> cool. I think this is how I'm supposed to climb up here. Climb up there. Let me head back. Or like head down. No. How am I supposed to, how am I supposed to climb this place? Can I like climb this? No, it doesn't seem like it. At least not very well. Jeez, I got up pretty high though. I guess this was like a secret area I wasn't really necessarily expected to go. Besides it. <laughs> the only reason why I get confused and lost in games is because I explore where you you know, the secret areas first, I guess. Maybe that's it. Maybe there's like some obvious and I've just simply missed it. There's a chance that that is what has happened. Okay, well, it's supposed to be, it's right above me or something. So. Fly around on my on my uh, bike. Go down the outside and see if there's something there. So 
something I can get through through there. Somehow missed. I don't know. I'm gonna grab these regardless. Oh, hello. What is this place? These baths are ancient. I never even heard of them before. They seem to use the flow from hot waters that are inside the rocks and circulate them through the baths. Imagine this as a bathhouse. People must have come from all, o all over to rest and recover. Who are you? My name is Rachel. I'm a plant weaver. I've never heard of a plant weaver before. Is that a tiny tree in that glass orb? We nurture plants, whether a struggling rizuer in the wild or a flourishing sporling of melancholy mushrooms in a cultivated garden. Without plants, life would cease to exist. I came with the climber and hunter, but I think I'll stay here. There's something special about this place. I think some very unusual flora would thrive here. I have never seen some of the things growing here. See you around. Oh, that scared me. back here see if there's anything back here just need to make sure it's a section of like caved in whatever Let's see what this is Mummy. <gasps> Friend. What's up? Okay, and that's the caved in area.
Hm. Inventory. Travel around a bit and see if there's anything else off and around. It doesn't seem like I don't see a way to get up, which is unfortunate. I'll sit here for hours and try and find a way to get up. Yeah, let's go over here. That looks like it'd be a camper or something. Maybe I can go instead of. Uh... around those pink bubbly things. Okay, let's see what uh, what this is or who this is. Salt Harvester Dane. Ah, a glider. I haven't had one had one up here in a while. Feels like only yesterday I set off for my own gliding. Headed down to Marabone Station in the wash I did. Seeing Pyrusta, I almost wet myself. Could 
could never work could never work out if it was a natural rock formation or statue someone had carved. Even overheard someone in Essera saying the thing was alive. A worm that a worm that big. Can you imagine? I think if I thought that could happen, I wouldn't sleep very well. Welcome to the waste, glider. What can I do for you? Why are you out here? Well, the Kreens love salt. They love pink salt. They love blue salt. They love green salt. So we work out here. Skin slowly peeling away so they can have a lick of the good stuff. Uh, the waste is a tough place to be, 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 but it pays well, and it's quiet. There aren't many places like this in Midden, that's for sure. What can I do you for? Can I have some salt? I do you need salt? For. And it's raw form, this stuff is unusable. It needs to be processed before it's edible. If you want, if you want to tr try our salt and food, you'll have to head on west into the re Red Sea of Isra. We have an exclusive contract with the traders here. Can't be selling our goods to any old glider who stumbles past. You've come a long way, so I'll do you one better. Here's something for your bike over there. You're welcome. What can I do you for? See you around. Just having a look around, seeing, you know. No idea what to do with these. Let's uh, head over here. We are approaching the end of this episode, so I will, uh, I guess I'll uh, stop the uh, video here shortly, and then immediately start recording the next episode. I'd like to thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye for now.